your thoughts on what we're about to see on DACA, on Dreamers, on immigration reform, on on a pending border crisis, and how this president will handle it? Well, first of all, let me say it's a great day. I mean, it's like a breath of fresh air in terms of seeing both parties, both tribes, as we have been calling them for the last few years, but, but uniting around America. And so to your question about the economy, our economy for all is really important to think about as opposed to just for some. So the for all is, you know, the metric that we business people like to look at is GDP, gross domestic product, as opposed to just the Dow or the NASDAQ or the S&P. So one of the things that we've seen, if you contrast the Reagan era, the Clinton era, where we had three and a half percent or higher average GDP growth, it was driven by labor force growth rates. Now, we've had a countervailing wind against us economically, and that is that our birth rates 30 years ago, 40 years ago, were very low and they started getting lower and lower. So the number of people coming into the market to work has fallen off. Ronald Reagan understood that. And so he made a big push around immigration, legalizing and allowing people to become citizens so that they could fill the gap. And we have an even greater gap where in the last year we reached the lowest point in modern history of half a percent of labor force growth rate. We need immigrants. We need immigrant workers. We need workers of all types. And it's like some people say, well, gee, we, we need to make it merit-based. Well, if you asked me to go be a welder, and, and I would basically say that I have no skill to do that. I probably wouldn't be allowed in, even though I have an MBA. So some of this is about what our economy needs. And so last year, leading into February, pre-pandemic, we had seven and a half million unfilled jobs. And that's what's part of what drives our gross domestic product. And it's what drives an economy for all, as opposed to just for some. So sorry to give you a long answer, but, but this is really important mm -hmm. immigration reform. It's probably one of the two or three key economic issues that we need to address and address it quickly so we can really stimulate our economy. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.